What's up guys, my name is Fazan Amjad and in this video we will create this beautiful shockwave effect. So first I have this clip, now I'm going to go to the color page and now in color page we have to switch to keyframe. Now in keyframe I'm going to add a mask and now we can go to the power window, we have this mask. I'm going to change my softness to 0 and I'm going to lower my size to about 10%. Now I'm going to add another circle by clicking on this circle. And now I'm going to lower the softness of this circle and now I'm going to lower the size right about here. So we have to place these two circles like this. Now I'm going to select this, I'm going to click here. And now I'm going to select the circle, I'm going to click here. And now we have this video inside this circle. Add a keyframe in corrector. Let's go to the 40th frame of this video. I'm going to increase the size of this circle about here. I'm going to select this circle and I'm going to also increase the size of this circle. So we have to keep the circle inside this circle. So now we have this video. Now if your second circle didn't animate then we have to go to the first frame and now we have to lower the size of that circle. I'm going to select this circle. I'm going to lower the size of this circle. So I'm going to keep the circle outside the first one. So now we have this circle animation. Turn this off and now we have to go to the effects. We have to click here and now I'm going to search for noise. We have to drag this fast noise. So now we have this fast noise. Now I'm going to change my fast noise to water surface. We have this shockwave and we can change this to maybe river. So we have this shockwave. So I'm going to change this to river and then I'm going to play around with this slider. Now check this out. We have this shockwave effect. Now we have to add an impact. So we have to right click, we have to add a serial and now I'm going to add a camera shake. Let's drag this onto this node and now we have to lower the motion scale we have to increase the speed and now from this position i'm going to add a keyframe in motion and now i'm going to lower my motion so now we have this animation now if you want to add another shockwave effect in your video then we can't really loop this animation in color page so what we're going to do is i'm going to go to the edit page i'm going to press alt key drag this above track we have a copy of this layer. Now we can go to that position that we want to add a shockwave on. We can go to the color page. We can select this above track. Let's disable this one. Go to the color page and we can drag this keyframe to that position. And now we can split this video. Let's enable this and now we have this shockwave effect. Now after do some color gating and color correction, here we have the final result.